Hello friends, welcome to Lynn and Linthicum United Methodist Church. This coming Sunday is Pentecost, which is the Sunday when we remember the coming of the Holy Spirit to the gathered people in Jerusalem after the uh, death and resurrection and ascension of Jesus, uh, the coming of the Holy Spirit, when people from various places around the world were gathered there and they were given the ability to understand one another, even though they were speaking in different languages. It's a, it's a, an exciting story. It's a story that speaks to us of the unity of faith um, and of the power of God coming to us in the, the form of the Spirit. Now, I have to admit that I have not always been a Holy Spirit kind of person. When you think about the Trinity, I always understood God the Creator. That made sense to me. I could look outside and I was always someone who liked to be outside and, and see how incredible the world was and see how things worked together and think somebody must have made that happen because it's too amazing to have been random. So I understood that, and Jesus, I get that part too, the one who came to the earth to be one of us and that we could understand and who was a teacher, a really good teacher and storyteller, and I got that too. But the Holy Spirit thing, that was always a little bit harder for me. So this week, because it's Pentecost, I'm thinking a little bit more about the Holy Spirit and there's a passage that I want to share, just a couple of verses from John chapter 16. This is in part of Jesus's farewell discourse when he's talking to his disciples as he knows that he is about to be crucified and will no longer be with them. But he speaks of the Holy Spirit more than once in that discourse, but this part is uh, verses 12 and 13 from chapter 16. And I'm reading from the message, which is a paraphrase by a pastor named Eugene Peterson. And he puts it, this in language that makes a lot of sense to me, and perhaps it will to you as well. I still have many things to tell you, but you can't handle them now. But when the friend comes, the spirit of truth, he will take you by the hand and guide you into all the truth there is. He won't draw attention to himself, but will make sense out of what is about to happen and indeed out of all that I have done and said. And that's helpful for me. The Holy Spirit is a little bit elusive. That's what I always felt. I didn't really understand it. I could say the words that the Spirit is God present and active in our lives, but this is helpful for me. Many things to say to you, you can't handle them right now. There are some things that we won't understand, says Jesus, but the Spirit of truth will take you by the hand and guide you. Have you ever felt that you just somehow got some understanding and you didn't know where it came from? Maybe that is the Holy Spirit active in your life, in your mind, in your heart, in your world. And then Jesus goes on to say, he won't draw attention to himself. Maybe that's why the Holy Spirit has been a little tougher for me and perhaps for you as well because it's a little bit uh, quieter, maybe not as showy as creation or as obvious as the teachings of Jesus, but a little bit more subtle behind the scenes, making things happen. He won't draw attention to himself, but will make sense out of what is about to happen and indeed out of all that I have done and said. So if there are things about the faith about your faith that you don't understand all the time, that you're not sure about, the Holy Spirit will make sense of that, says Jesus. And it'll come quietly, not drawing attention to itself, says Jesus. It'll come quietly often enough, and maybe as one of those aha moments when you feel like, ah, a light bulb has come on, and I get it. This week is Pentecost. See if you can't notice the subtle movement of the Spirit giving you understanding for all the things that are puzzling to you. Thanks be to God. Amen.